What's up guys and welcome back to another episode of the Lockdown Career Mode, it's episode number 75 and today we're returning with a big one, four games today in three different competitions as we face Chelsea away at Stamford Bridge in a big battle against what will be a title rival this year in the Premier League, Everton in the third round of the EFL Cup, Crystal Palace home and then the really big one, PSG away at the Parc de Prance in our first ever Champions League away European night. Four huge games, three different competitions, loads to get through. Let's just get straight to it. So first game, and it is indeed Frank Lampard's Chelsea away at Stamford Bridge, who, like us last season, finished runners-up for the title on goal difference in that crazy finale to the Premier League campaign. This year, three wins in their first five games, but for us, a 100% start, but I do believe it'll end today away in London. First of the big four, it's Chelsea away. One goal conceded to start the season off as well. Mason and Deo have struck up a good partnership already at the back. Chilwell and Cash looking impressive as ever. And of course Declan Rice has been a big help as well. A real class holding midfielder. Exactly what we need to plug some gaps there and help protect the back line. But again the lack of goals has been concerning. Already behind the top two in terms of goal score. That's got to improve if we are to win the title. Chilwell to Liao. Lovely little turn. Goes for goal and Kepa tested early as he turns it behind for a corner. Raphael testing the Spaniard, but he stood up to it. Still 0-0. Upa Meccano's header is a dangerous one as it takes a deflection and goes behind for another fast start here from Forrest. Now we're starting to target wins in these games as Upa Meccano heads wide in the post. She was Mason. Well done, son. I tell you what, he has had an amazing start to the season at the back. Watson, he's been brilliant. And now as Bamba plays a 1-2 with Liao, he's going to try and outpace Eric Bailly. Oh, brilliant. Oh, Kepa fingertip save to deny Jonathan from smacking it in at the near post. Still 0-0. What a run by Bamba from the corner. It's headed away. We've been the better team in this first half. Much better. A little run from Renan Lodi and the ball's decent as well. And Golovin across the edge. And that is why Deirupa Meccano has been so big to this team to start the season off. As Morata's header sails over the bar. Crucial last ditch interception by the club record signing. Keeps it at 0 0. Ian Watson already seems to have a decent partnership. I must say, I'm liking it. Only the one goal conceded between the two of them since the campaigns began. As Pulisic's cross is good, and again, it's Mason away. And it seems like it's elevated Mason's game as well. He's had a great start to the season, too. Declan Rice as well, defensive midfielder. He's been solid as well. This year, defensively, we've got no problems. Don't lose it now. Come on, Upa Meccano. Can't block the cross. And again, who is there to head it away? Mason Bloody Watson, who's been amazing in this game. Rice makes the tackle, but Chelsea get it straight back. And it's cleared away by Bam. But defensively, again, solid today. Five minutes to hold on to the point. Well, I will definitely take it. No doubt about that. The 100% record is going to go. Area wins it at the death. The streak survives. Oh, the composure from Saka, Origi, and Ovi. I saw the man go all the way back onto the line there, which kept Ovi on side, takes a touch, and puts it in at the near post. Forrest make it six wins from six at the death. Ovi Ajeri, the hero. Oh, my word. Well, it might be another victory which we scrape. But we won't need to worry about goal difference if we win 38 games out of 38. Getting a bit far ahead of myself, I think. But you know what? It's another win and another clean sheet. We've been amazing this year. Tense, nervy, scrappy, and separated right in the dying seconds. My word. And whilst Ajeria might have scored the game winner again, I'm going to share man in the match between our CB duo, who look like an amazing partnership already defensively today, headed away everything, stopped every Chelsea attack. Th these guys already have got a brilliant partnership at the back. And as we take a look at the table to start the campaign off, this is crazy. The top three, all separated by goal difference, all three with six wins from their first six games. Again, it probably will come down to goal difference based on how tight it is in career mode these days, but unbelievable starts for all three. Who is your money? 
money on right now. So second of four, but a game which we don't really care about. Our fourth and lowest priority this season. It's the EFL Cup as we face Everton at the City Ground. And I'll be fielding a totally mixed and rotated side with Crystal Palace at home on the weekend in the Premier League. Second of four, Everton in the EFL Cup. James, nice ball through to Tyrese, who's the outlet, and he should be able to outpace Pennington down the left-hand side. First game time for Tyrese this year. Steps in field. Ding, 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 ding. And Jay Bell gives us the opener. Even with a backup side, I still think we've got enough to get through this. One nil up early, Jay with a finish. And it's Gareth Bale in our starting 11 for the first time tonight. I've told Bakari Saka to keep a close eye on the Welsh Wind Wizard and watch what he does. He steps in field from the right. This is what Bale's so good at, but drags the shot and drills it way over the crossbar. But he's, he's not going to get much game time. He's mainly been brought in for that dressing room veteran presence, but he'll, he'll get some starts, including tonight. Forwards, as he is cross deflected by Gareth Bale, who is away. Might not have as much pace nowadays, but still has the technical ability to find Tyrese Campbell. Flick to Marco Vandenberg. Very quick break. Oh, it's brilliant. What a goal. What a goal from Nottingham Forest. A quick breakaway started by Bale and finished by Jay for his second of the night. 2-0, we're heading through. Well, in with the backup side, I still felt semi-confident. Forest march on, a winning start for Gareth Bale on his debut. It was the man he's celebrating with who was flawless tonight. Jay's got to a great start this season. This is the competition where every single game, every single round, will pick fringe players and hopefully they'll continue to impress. Because one man certainly did tonight, bagged both our goals and already has three in all competitions to start the season season off. Jay Bell off to a flying star. And just before the Crystal Palace game, we'll find out who we've got in the last 16 of the Carabao Cup. Might be our lowest priority, but still, we'd like to go far. Last year, of course, dumped out in the semis by Man City, and this year we've got... Bournemouth away at the Vitality. This season, are actually off to a pretty decent start. Six, uh, sorry, uh, ten uh, points in their first six games, and uh, yeah, Bournemouth away in the fourth round. So, phenomenal game in the episode. As you take on Crystal Palace, just one point from their first six games in 19th place. But for us, Arsenal and Liverpool, all off to 100% start. We don't want to be the first team that slips up and drops off in the race for the title. So, Crystal Palace at home should be a bank with them winless so far. Come on, Nottingham Forest. Then to Ovi and into the path of Divock. Lovely first touch. Got to be 1 0. Oh, it's not. Fires it wide and should have opened the scoring early. I've got no doubt we'll win this game, but these are the sort of matches where we've got to improve our goal difference swing. Already quite a few behind Liverpool and Arsenal. We know it was uh, separated by the four teams on goal difference last year. If we are to have a genuine chance, the goal difference needs to be similar as well. I'm getting a book in. Leal coming across to have some words. Getting a little bit. Tense out here at the moment, a little bit, uh, yeah, a little bit edgy. As Watson wins that ball in the air, and it's still nil-nil. I feel confident we're going to break the deadlock at some point, but the longer it goes on, the more I start to worry. But as Origi feeds through Ageria, there it is, Rafael Leal. No goals in his last three, but back on the score sheet. Trademark celebration, signature finish, one nil Forest. No, Watson, what a start to the season for Mason Watson. He has been brilliant as he makes a crucial interception. We come on the break and Devop tries to turn Calvin Phillips and does successfully. 2-0, quick little offload by Ogeria. Leal gets his second of the game and it all started from Watson winning it back at the back. Oh, and right from kickoff, Palace have just given it straight to us. First half hat trick. Off the crossbar by Liao. Should have been the match ball already. Couldn't keep it down. Deo to Saka. And away we come on the break. Come on, we need more goals here as Bakayo is away from Tom Tribal. I know we've got PSG in midweek. I'd like to take some starters off at some point, but right now I'm focused on getting more goals. Bakayo pegs it back. And Ajeri is shot blocked. I want three, four, five goals to nil to be the scoreline here. It's got to be. As, that's a shocking pass. And Origi does get our third. Surrender possession. Can't do that against us. And Dewalt gets his first of the game. I will continue to say it. This is how it's got to be. If we're to win the title, this is how it's got to be. No mercy, no sympathy. Just continue to stay in attack mode and continue to improve the goal difference swing. We need it. So I throw ref, thank you. And now as Bamba finds Liao. Oh, I was going to play a 1-2 there, but sadly could not do so. Is that going to be a straight red? It might be. It is. A straight red for Joel Ward. Came in late. But I, I tell you, you know, we've seen some very 
very harsh refereeing decisions in this career mode. And that's another. I know he's late. I know he gets none of the ball. But really, that is a booking, in, in my book at least. Joel Ward sent off. Palace 3-0 down and now down to 10 men. We've got to stay in attack mode now and get a couple more. As d what heads that free kick over. Watson to Ageria. And now Declan Rice takes over. And look at the space for Bamber at wide. Because they've not made a change to their tactics now that Joel's been sent off. So as Bamber steps in field, it's blocked. And Palace will clear. If this game finishes 3-0, I'll be disappointed. We've got time. We've got a man advantage. We've got to score more. Come on, Jay. Win that, win that, win that. Well done. Off the bench. He's got pace, Bell. It's an underrated part of his game. And there's the fourth. Oh, no, it's not. Come on. Come on. Come on, Bamba, Bell, Declan Rice, Bamba, Jay, and Bamba tackled and that'll do it. Not good enough. Not good enough. I know it's a 3-0 win, but it's not good enough. We got to score more to win the title, man. That's obvious. Doesn't help that every goalkeeper we seem to face is like prime Ika Casillas, but either way, man, got to score more. Oh, but do you know what? I think I'm being too harsh on my players because after the game, we just seen some great news. Arsenal lost home to Man City and Liverpool were held to a score draw at Anfield against the Red Devils. So, we're the only team remaining with a 100% record to start the campaign off. Goal if resign, it'll be amazing, but we're top of the table by two points. You'd love to see it. So, whatever happens in our fourth and final game today, I'm not going to be too disappointed. I do believe our unbeaten run will end here as we take on Paris Saint-Germain away at the park. De France. The toughest game of the six in the group. We might have won on match day one, but I can't see us winning on match day two. But you never know, in fine form right now, come on, Nottingham Forest. Ali out wide to Reguilon. Mason blocks the cross initially. It'll come straight back to him. And Robinson does well enough, but Deli Ali has just scored an absolute thunderbolt. The former Spurs and MK Dons man has just scored a contender for goal of the season. You know those goals where there's very little you can do about. Robinson comes out naturally, fists it away, and Deli Ali says, Sam, you left something behind you. The ball in the back of the net. What a goal by Ali. Volleyed in first time. No chance for our number one. That is just absolutely brilliant stuff. Uneventful first half. This only really one chance, and it was the goal that PSG scored. Six minutes to go before the break. Still 1-0 down. Plenty of time, but we can't get a chance. We can barely get the ball at the moment. If we are going to get a goal, it's going to need to come on the counter, like right now. And Marquinhos is there. Kimori to Bell. We get a late chance for the break here. Divock's onside. And Matty Cash, rare goal scorer, gives us the leveller. Great hold up by Divock. And the right back finds the equaliser. 1 2 between the pair. And Cash drills it past Alphonse Areola with a rocket. First of the season for Matty, he's the unsung hero of this team and it's always nice to see him get on the score sheet. 1-1 one, one, and a great way to close out what would be a very uneventful first half. Mbappe, lovely ball over the top to Reguilon, perfectly weighted and the cross blocked temporarily and Suarez denied by a fingertip save by Sam and I'll certainly take this. Killing Mbappe now coming off as we're still tied at 1-1, one, one. half an hour to go. Can we cling on and claim the point? Eight minutes to go. Can we cling on to what could be a valuable and crucial point here on match day two? Marco Verratti to Neymar. Oh, the crossbar. The woodwork rattled and we just about escaped by the skin of our teeth. Verratti's ball cut out by Tomori. Wins it straight back. All hands on deck. And it's cleared. Off the woodwork. Well, just like the Chelsea game. Nervy, tense. And in the end, some late draw. Will we cling on to the point? I'll certainly take that. The winning run over, but the unbeaten streak survives. Lucky though. Very, very lucky. Very fortunate. Always hold my hands up and accept when we've had some luck. And we certainly did tonight. Because PSG should have won it. And it would have been a worthy winner as well from Deli Ali's Thunderbolt in the first half. But yeah, we do escape with a point. I'll certainly take it. Four points from our first two games. Third the way through the group. Still in the top two. And I'll take qualifying in second. And that will end today's episode of the Lockdown Career as well, guys. So a massive thank you for watching i really hope you have enjoyed it if you did enjoy today's episode then please do drop a like much love to you all and i'll see you for the next episode as we aim to maintain our 100 start in the premier league very soon